Former President Donald Trump is back in Florida after pleading not guilty to 34 felony counts in a New York court yesterday. Trump spoke to supporters last night from Mar-a-Lago, and Eamon Javers joins us with the latest. Good morning, Eamon. Good morning, Becky. It was quite a scene in New York yesterday. We had helicopters flying overhead, demonstrators in the streets, and intense security in the courtroom as former President Donald Trump was charged with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records relating to payments to porn star Stormy Daniels and others dating back as far as the 2016 presidential campaign. Now, this was the first time in American history that a former president has seen the inside of a courtroom as a defendant, and it came at a time that he's the front runner for the Republican presidential nomination in 2024. Court documents laid out the tawdry details of an episode from the 2016 campaign in which the then Trump attorney Michael Cohen set about paying hush money to three people who had embarrassing stories to tell about Donald Trump, including the former porn star Stormy Daniels. Now, the Manhattan DA said Trump falsified records related relating to those payments, falsely claiming that they were legal retainer payments to Cohen in order to obscure their true purpose as payoff payments. That kind of business record fraud, he said, is a bread and butter case for his office. We have a distinct and strong, I would say profound, independent interest in New York State. This is the business capital of the world. Uh, we regularly uh, do cases involving false business statements. Uh, the, the, the bedrock, in fact, the basis for uh, business integrity and a well-functioning business marketplace is true and accurate record-keeping. That's the charge that's brought here. Now, the former president rallied his supporters upon return to Florida last night, telling them the case is simply illegitimate. This fake case was brought only to interfere with the upcoming 2024 election, and it should be dropped immediately. So what's next? Well, the first thing that's going to happen is discovery when the defense will get access to all the evidence against Trump. Then various motions will be made debating uh, points in the case. And the next hearing here is not expected until December. And that sets up potentially a dramatic election year trial of a presidential candidate. That's something that we haven't seen before, guys. Back over to you. Hey, I mean, I guess the, the slow roll on this, um, you know, at that point, there's going to be a lot more activity in terms of where the presidential uh, race stands at that point. Yeah, I mean, we'll be heading into an election year the next time there's a hearing uh, going into 2024. I mean, it's sort of astonishing timing uh, to think that it would take that long to get to uh, a hearing here. Um, and I think the, the key thing here for the DA is he's going to have to explain to a jury and, you know, by extension to the American public, why, if this case is so important, why it hasn't been charged until now. I mean, these underlying facts have been well known for years. Uh, the conduct here has been described in newspapers, you know, for a long time. Uh, we're talking about a case that goes back to 2016. The, the, he's going to have to explain to the jury why these falsified business records allegedly uh, are so important to, that they need to be dealt with now. Uh, and if they are so important that they need to be dealt with now, how come that hadn't been done before?